Welcome back to another episode of Working on Dr. Pepper. You guys are watching Teeth and Turbos. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot so that I can support this content and make sure it brings good, clean fun to you and your families. If you remember on the last episode, I pulled the intake off Dr. Pepper to put a rife manifold air temperature sensor in. And when I did, two or three of the intakes on the head were completely full of fuel. So we're like, crap, that could have totally bent a rod if we would have tried to start it. So we pulled all the injectors, I sent them in, and I've got some really confusing news. We need to dig deeper into this car, so I'm gonna start digging on this thing, get this, this problem figured out. All right, y'all, so I had these same injectors clean from the fuel injector clinic right before sick week, and they were about three to 4% off after they had returned them. Well, now they're 9% matching, the lowest one being 1961 cc's per minute, and the highest being 2143 cc's per minute. So they went ahead and cleaned them. Now we're only about 1.9% off between all eight injectors. I also sent them four more injectors that I had ordered, and they matched out at about 2200 CEC. So they're good backups, but they're not gonna be what's going back in the car. All right, so I've got each one of the injectors back on the rail here. And what I've done is I've left the caps on them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the Terminator on and see how much these things fill up with fuel, or if one of them or two of them are continuously injecting fuel because I do not want fuel accumulating in these heads. First things first, got to get this thing plugged back in. I've had it uh, terminator. I've had the terminals unplugged, making sure there's no power drain in this battery. Put this one on. Put this one on, and then this one might spark a little bit because this is for the terminator. Yep, see that? I don't think it's supposed to be doing that, but it is. All right, let's turn some power on. this on and then power and nothing on this side okay well, that's strange oh that's because I have the injectors unplugged all right let's try this again fuel pump on fully on All right, that's two honest mistakes in a row. <laughs> Forgot to tighten down my fittings and fuel spraying everywhere. All right, let's get those fittings tightened back down. Let this stuff dry off and then uh, we'll give her a second shot. We're gonna try this again. <clears throat> no fuel pumpy this time. Okay, I'm gonna test this one more time. Only turning the Terminator on so that the fuel pressure doesn't blow off the injector since I only have it halfway in. in there okay and nothing there interesting so confused okay here's the deal this might have been a fluke issue with the car i just ran a multimeter across all of the wires that go to the injectors none of them are drawing power so I'm gonna get the car back together completely, start it, run it, but what I'm gonna do is turn it over by hand a couple times to make sure no fuel's building up in the cylinders. If the engine locks up while I'm just cranking it by hand before I hit the starter, then I know we're good. We'll run it, run it for a little bit and see how she does. All right, so this is uh, ready to start Dr. Pepper again. There's a few things that have changed on the car. Again, I, I added a new map sensor and I also added a manifold air temperature sensor. So I already know the manifold air temperature sensor is working because it's reading 79 degrees, which is the outside temperature. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. We'll see if it'll start on 12 and a half volts. Oh, you know what? I need to check for fuel leaks first. So we'll turn the fuel pump on. Here, moving through the fuel pressure regulator. Looking good. No leaks under the car.
Air to fuel is working good. That's like our boost. Our my new map sensor is working. A lot of you guys were telling me to change my oil in case fuel did get down into the oil. So I changed the oil, but I want to warn you before I show it to you, it is way darker than it actually was because this oil catch pan had a ton of nasty black stuff in the bottom. This isn't actually the color of it. It's more, it's a lot lighter than that. It doesn't smell like fuel at all. So I think that's a good thing that the fuel wasn't in there very long. It might have just been from when I was disconnecting the fuel rails, I'm hoping. Either way, I am working towards getting a dominator in this car and probably redoing the harness. That way we have more controllability of the entire car. Right now it's on a Terminator Max and we really aren't using any of the inputs and outputs. So I'd like to have full custom ability to do whatever we want with the car and have this thing really... Re For y'all that don't know, I do use Valvoline VR1. I'm not sponsored by them at all. However, you can get this off Amazon and I buy it by 15 quarts at a time. I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy this. A lot of content in this video for you guys, but I hope you enjoyed the update. Jackson and I are working on getting a track rental together because we need to make this car go sevens. And then I've got some plans to change things up again in order to improve the car a little bit more before we start hitting race weeks for 2022. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. The subscribers really help. I know a lot of y'all like watching this content. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps us out. We'll see you later. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a sonic hair except a tenth of the price so go get one they send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it it's a great deal